Hello everyone, you are welcome to TM Graphics, one of the subsidiary of TM Business Innovation. Today we shall be converting a 2D shape to 3D shape using our corridor. Let's get started. The first thing is making use of our polygon to 2D shape. Yes, I think it's better this way. So I want to increase the size from 5 to 6. From pentagon to hexagon then let's give it a thicker outline come to this part i will increase this to a let me see okay i'm okay with this then increase this part then let's duplicate this guy left click drag and right click what is that about that so i want this to have a curve edges I don't want it to have a sharp edges like this. I make it. I want to make it curve. So how do I do that? Go to Window, click on Dockers, go to Fillet, Color, and Chamfer. Click on that, then it pops up at the right top corner here. Then select Fillet. Make sure it's on Fillet. Then apply. Apply. So that is that's about that. Can you see? So let me give this a color. I'll give this a color as well. I want to insert this guy into this. That is that about that. Now the next thing is, <coughs> I want to work on the underneath shape. That is the black, the original shape, which is the black color. I'm working on that. So I click on it, I've highlighted it. Then I will go to arrange. Convert to curves. Then I'll pick my shape two. I want to work on the edges. One, take this in. Take this in as well. I'll be able to take this in. And this. So now, I want to, I'll leave the two other parts untouched. The two other, um, the two edges, I'll leave those ones untouched. This one and this, right? So, next thing is, I need to highlight the two shapes together. So, how do I do that? Left click, drag, make a boss like this on it, leave it. You have highlighted the two shapes. Then, I will weld it together. Weld. The next thing is, okay, I need to work on this part, but that's very simple. So let me make it bigger, so I can shake that part. So this part is not straightened, and this part is not straightened. I'll just pick these two. I'll pick it here, then I'll come to the part. I will double click on it to straighten it up. Can you see? So let me work on this part too. Double click. I think it's better this way. Yes, it's better this way. So let me bring it back to the page. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to make it bigger. So we can adjust this properly. Let me zoom it. Yes, I think it's okay this way. Now the next thing is I want to insert um a particular shape into this our shape. So I want to make use of my rectangle tool. Don't forget what we are doing today is we want to convert a 2D shape to what to 3D. So we are trying everything possible to make that work, right? So now I want to make use of the rectangle tool. Yes, let me give this a color, yellow, and I want, to, I want to rotate it. So for me to rotate this shape, I will have to click on it twice, one, two, then I can then rotate, right? <clears throat> now I want to work on the, the width, not the length. 
delete so i'll press down my shift key come to this part drag it in fine i'm okay with this and i can bring this to the middle and at the same time rotate it to my satisfaction i'll make it slanty okay this is good and the next thing i need to highlight everything on this workspace how do i do that like we did the first time you left click and you drag over it and you see everything has been highlighted then i want to combine everything together so i come to this icon here combine better still you can use the short key which is control l but i'll be coming here to combine that is that so everything is one now and you see it's one entity so i want to give it a lighter color so i can be able to see the um the outline so i'm okay with this color right this is light enough as i'm not satisfied with this part all these parts are not straightened enough so let me just work on that so you see I'll be able to zoom it and work on that into this one. Can you see it? I'll be splitting this part as well. Yes. I think it's okay this one. So let me bring this to the medium. Right. So the next thing is I want to make use of the free hand tool. This is the free hand tool. Free hand tool. Then I'll come to this part, take it this way, drop from here to here, drop from here, put it on this edge, drop and pick it up again. I will drop and I'll pick it up again. I'll drop. Is that not simple? I don't know if we are we are following the class. This is very, very simple. But let me repeat it again for the benefit of everyone. So this is it. I want to reverse this action, so let me drop this two. Let me drop this two. So, Control Z. Let me zoom it so that every one of us can see it. This is what I've done. Can you see? These are the parts I want to draw. Right. So, I go to my free hand two, then I pick it this way. One. Drop, and you pick it. That means you'll be clicking twice. One, two. One, two. One, two. Then one. That's it. You are done with that. So you can drop this two. So I want to increase the pixel to, to eight. Is that too much? Okay, let me increase reduce this to four okay i think i'm okay with this so i need to work on this part i want to convert this straight line to curve i want to convert this straight line to curve so how do i do that it has been highlighted already i'll pick i'll go to shape to i'll select it and i will make a rectangle cover like this on it i will highlight the line i will highlight it like this and i will drop it can you see you can see it as if you if you look closely to this thing you see a break traces on it right it has shown that um it has all this line has been what has been highlighted so now i can now go to this part convert to curve i'll click on it so with this, I'll be able to do what? To work on this straight line and make it look curvy together. So how do I do that now? Just come to this part, then I can manipulate. Can you see? It was straight initially. Try to make it curve. Right? So I want to make this piece curve as well. So I think it's okay this way. 
It's okay this way. So we are good to go. It's okay this way. So the next thing we need to create a line here too. So you go to your free hand tool. Okay, let me zoom it. Zoom this part as well. So this time around, using our our free hand tool as well. Pick it. So let me start like this. Dropping it here. I pick it up again. I pick it here. I pick it up again. Dropping it here. I pick it up again. And I drop it here. So fine. So I want to convert this split line to what to curve. This one, this particular one, I want to convert it to curve, just like we did for the uh, the first one, right? So how do I do that? <coughs> Excuse me. You come to this part. It has been highlighted already, have you? So you just pick the shape to then highlight this part like this. Then click on convert to curve. You can now work on this part. Can you see? Can you see that? So that is that about that. So we have successfully turned it to a curve. So let me reduce the let me reduce it to 100. So I think we are good to go with this. Let me increase a bit. Okay. Yes. So the next thing is we want to make use of our smart tool. The smart fill tool. And why what is the usefulness of smart fill tool? We use the smart fill tool to create layer to create layer on a particular surface. Now I want to create layer on this part, on this part, on this part, and on this part. So I need the what? The smart fill tool. So I'll be picking it up now. Then we'll be practicalizing the usefulness of smart fill tool. So I picked it up. Look at this part. You see the color, right? That's the layer on it. This part, I've gotten the layer, this part, and this part, right? So now to give it a color but before i do that i will need to remove all this all this i'm taking it off so you just come to this part so i'll be selecting this right then right click delete can you see i'll select this as well right click delete is that cool enough yes it is so I want to give this a color. Well, let me adjust this very well. Okay. Now, I want to give it a color. I'll be giving this part. Um, okay, let me just use this color first. Okay, let me use this color. This color. Okay. Oh, it has to let me use this. I'm okay with this. Then go to your interactive field to pick it up. I want to make some some effect on it. Let me just give it this color. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Perhaps it's a bit. Okay. Can you see that? So the next thing is. I want to work on this part as well. Let me give that part a color. Come to your interactive field tool. Let me select the part first. Okay. Interactive field tool. Click on this. I'm taking my time to to make it so so understanding. That is why I don't want to rush this part because I know this is the part where people 
mostly have challenges. People don't know how to use the tools as expected. So at this part, I'm taking it very, very slow so that people can get to know what is happening there. So now I've selected this, then I've picked my interactive field to down to I mean, yes, I picked it, then I'm giving this a color, right? So let me just use mm -hmm, let me give this color. But before I use that, let me just let me select a color for this first. I'll give it okay, let me give it um mm, I'm okay with this color. I'm okay with this color. Let me work on this. Let me give this part a color too. I'll give it um give it this color. Give this part a color. Color. Yes. Now let me make use of the interactive um so for this part. Just drag. Can you see that? So once okay now with the interactive to I've been able to feed the part of a single entity. This part is having the color so pronounced. Why this part is what is faded, right? So I want to add another color to that part. That's one of the usefulness. You can manipulate color with what's interactive um, to this tool here. The interactive field tool, you can always manipulate color with it, right? So now this part is deep, deeper than this part. So this part is faded. So I want to add a color to this part. Let me see the color I can add to that part. Okay. And I had this. Okay, you know what? Okay, okay. Let me add this. Can you see that? Can you see that? This part is faded and this part is what? It's deeper, right? So now let's work on this part. Let's work on this part. So I'll go to the interactive field view, then I will drag this way. Can you see that as well? So let me give it a color. I'll give it a lighter green. Can you see? So that is that about that. So with the help of our color draw, we have been able to do what? To design a 3D shape. From what? From 2D shape. With this, we have come to the end of the class.